Hello, I'm Dr. Laurelyn Riverwind, naturopath and master herbalist. Today we're going to talk about the COVID-19 supplement protocol. So COVID-19 is out there and trying to attack everybody. Let's boost your immune system by taking supplements that will help keep you in tip-top shape. First of all, everybody knows you need vitamin C. It's a wonderful supplement and a really big part of the arsenal against catching any virus or cold. So 2000 milligrams a day is it's a nice start. But if you feel at all like you're beginning to start dragging, you feel that overwhelmingly tired feeling, you feel kind of a scratch in the back of your throat, or you've had an exposure to something, somebody coughing on in, in the subway, somebody sneezing, your Uber driver sniffling, whatever the case may be, you know that you've probably just been exposed to something. So take out that vitamin C, which you should carry with you, and up your milligrams to about 8,000, maybe even 10,000 milligrams a day. Space them out about an hour apart from each other, um, like a thousand milligrams each hour. And the worst it can do is once you get up around the 10,000 milligrams, it can make your, your stool a little bit runny. So don't go over that. It can be irritating to the stomach. Next, you know you need a multivitamin. If you aren't taking one right now, get used to it. Come on, you can do it. Find a favorite. I have a favorite. Mine is um, code RAW, one for one. My, it's one of my favorites. Zinc. Um, it's not uncommon for people to have a zinc deficiency. It's good to take 20 to 30 milligrams a day uh, if you've had a suspected exposure. But don't take more than 40 milligrams a day or you could deplete your copper stores. And copper is also an important part of your immune system. You've probably heard about colloidal silver. Yes, you need colloidal silver. Check out the blog on my website related to this very video so that you can see a good amount to take. It has a table there that gives parts per million and the quantity that you can use depending on the parts per million of silver in your solution. Vitamin D3. Most people are deficient in America in vitamin D. Taking vitamin D3 can be important for your immune system because it plays an important part in immunity, especially if you are in some of the northern states and get a little bit less sun, you may be deficient. So have your physician see if you are deficient in vitamin D. Check out my blog on this topic for another helpful table to see how much vitamin D you need. This list is not complete. Each one of you have unique needs. This is just a good place to start and a good reminder to take your supplements. Make sure you check out my blog on fighting the coronavirus with herbals. That's a really interesting one that gives a lot of good data. So stay healthy and be well.